you ever remember whenever we were trying to get this thing to start, we couldn't ever get it to start. And we, I suspected that there was something wrong with the solenoid on the bottom. Well, I, so you got these plug wires, right? The wires come up, go around here. And if you look, power wire is fucked up right here. And these two wires go down to the carburetor for that solenoid. So I'm thinking it was grounding out right here. It wasn't giving the right signal to the cylinder here, which is why we weren't getting fuel. So, it's going to need a new starter, and I'm going to fix this wire. I'm probably actually going to delete that solenoid if I can. I'll show you my dilemma and how I'm going to fix it. So, this is my uh, transaxle, right? Um, right now, this axle shaft is too small um, or too short with track width. So this is axle shaft, this is axle shaft, and then you got a diff in the middle, right, with spider gear. So if you spin one, the other one spins the other way. They don't spin the same way, so it's an open diff. Um, I want a solid axle. They spin both ways. It's locked. Um, so I'm going to get a whole solid axle put in that's long enough, and then we're also getting going to get rid of this diff. It's going to be now chain-driven, right? So I'm going to get a sprocket, chain sprocket like that put in here on this, on this new axle. And then there's going to be another one that goes on this one. So I have to get a new one for this because this gear is actually machined on that shaft. So I get a new shaft for this. And these are my we're forward and reverse gear and parking brake. Um, and then when this is my shifter lever. When it's in the middle, it's in neutral. So I'll be able to retain all that. Um, but now this will be chain driven and it'll be a solid axle that's wide enough for this go-kart. So if anyone was curious, this is like take 15, don't worry. <laughs> if anybody was curious on how, to, how I was going to get this transaction to work up under there, since I got a vertical shaft engine, um, I was just, I took this out of the lawnmower and I stuffed it up under there thinking we were going to be good and just mount it and take the hell off. Yeah, that didn't work out. So <laughs> what the problem was is these axles uh, shafts were actually way too short. They were basically when I mounted it or I put it up under here. Um, the axle, both axle ends were inside the frame rail here, and of course I gotta have a lot more to come outside the frame rails to be able to put the tires on. So, what I did was I ordered a longer uh, three-quarter axle shaft, and basically I was just gonna cut it in half with the spider gears on and have mount it all back together, put it up under there, and I'd have the correct width to be able to put tires on. Um, but then I decided that was a terrible idea because I wanted the rear end locked and it'd be stupid to cut the axle shaft in half and weld these spider gears on and whatnot. So second plan was to just leave it a solid axle. I got this weldable hub and we was going to take this gear off the plate in here and just weld this gear to this uh, hub um, and put it all back together, put the solid axle in. Plus if we do it that way, you know, the axle's removable. Um, if I uh, grenade this or don't like it, I can just pull the axle out and mount it back up under there. Um, it'd be, still be solid. And I got to thinking about that that plan B. And uh, well, this gear is made out of the same thing as these spider gears, which I'm pretty sure is cast iron. And uh, what I plan on doing with that go kart there, this is probably going to grenade on the first test ride too. Um, along with the other gears that are in there. There's two other gears that are like the same material as this. Um, so that's why I decided maybe we should just put the axle up under there and do a unique pulley setup for vertical to horizontal back to vertical on a clutch and see if that works. If not, you know, I could always just 
try that out, see if it works, you know? What do you think? Sounds good. No, to which one? I don't know, I was listening. Of course you weren't. <laughs> um, but if neither one of those plans work, you know, she's gonna go to the drawing board and draw me up a whole new setup. Yeah, you are. Don't lie, you smart. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh shit, we got a clutch mounted and the belt's on. The belt is on. Oh shit, we'll be running in no time. My belt just came off, hold on a second. Okay, okay, <laughs> it's that one. I went too far out if I put too much, uh, uh, it's only supposed to move like an inch to disengage and I'm going like five, six inches. The belt fell off. That's fine. That's fine. All right, here it is. I got a 20 horsepower Kohler Command lawnmower engine and lawnmower transaxle up under this go kart. Got a custom clutch clutch set up on it to get all of it to work. But uh, only problem is they ain't got brakes. That's the only thing that's not working right now is they ain't got brakes. So I gotta figure that out. But it breaks for quitters anyway. I'm about to test drive this motherfucker. That bitch gonna take off! Uh, Run the go kart. Go get it. Go get it. So uh, I was trying to test out the belt problem. It just spins on the belt. So I took this pulley and I pushed on the belt and it uh, took off on it. part now um so i took every uh, the engine off and i'm gonna be taking all this back out and putting the one inch axle back in and then the regular engine plate for the go-kart so this was a really cool build but uh after consideration of what i wanted to do with it um it just wasn't working out so after i got it completely done it worked great if i if i got a thicker engine mount plate so i got some thin gauge just to test it out to see if it'll work and it did but the problem with that is is it's so thin and there was so much pressure on this clutch it kept bending the clutch which would throw the belt off and it just wasn't it wasn't working uh the way i wanted it to because of that plate being so thin now i could have put a way thicker plate on there um it would have cost it like almost 150 dollars and at that point um just testing it with that the way it's set up right now um i didn't see it being able to do what i wanted to do because the way this rear end is um i want to do wheelies i want to do jumps wheelies all kinds of stuff and i don't think this setup would have worked for that so i just went ahead and said uh screw it i'm not putting any more money into it i'm just going to take it all back apart Put the regular plate back on there. Put a uh, Duramax 18 horsepower uh, 
engine on here with the you know solid one inch axle up under it uh torque converter and i'm thinking about putting a, a gearbox on it for forward and reverse um but yeah so it was really cool to build um i didn't really get to test drive it much because of course that clutch kept bending and throwing the belt so whenever i get the new engine and stuff we'll pop back on this build but for now it's on the back burner burner because we got too many projects right now um we're doing an ls swap on that truck um my truck you know i'm constantly working on it eventually we're going to do a come and swap on that you know we do all kinds of stuff so it just i don't have time for it right now